Today I'm going to show you how to solve a pair of simultaneous equations by eliminating the y terms. So remember, if you have to solve simultaneous equations, you need to work out the values of x and y, which give you the numbers at the end in both equations. So let's begin with example 1 then. So we need to solve 4x plus 2y equals 10, 3x plus y, that's 1y, equals 6. So your first step then is to make the numbers before y in both equations the same. And you do this by multiplying the equations by numbers. So as you can see we just need to multiply the second equation by 2 and that will make that 2y. So just write out your first equation 4x plus 2y equals 10 and we're going to multiply the second equation by 2 to make it 2y. So this will give 6x plus 2y is equal to 12. So as you can see now the numbers before y in both equations are the same. So you can now subtract these two equations away. I want to do the bottom equation and take away the top equation as this will not give me any negative numbers and it would be easy to solve. So 6x take away 4x is 2x. 2y minus 2y that gives you 0y so we've eliminated the y's which is what we wanted and 12 take away 10 is 2. So we've ended up with the equation 2x equals 2. So the final step then is to solve this equation. So if we divide both sides by 2, you'll get an answer of x is equal to 1. So once we've found out the value of x, we can sub this back into one of the first two equations to work out the value of y. So let me go with the first equation. So if I just copy it out first of all. So if we sub in x equals 1, it will be 4 times 1 plus 2y equals 10. So 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2y equals 10. So if we just now solve this simple equation, so let's get rid of the 4 by taking 4 from both sides of the equation. So that will give you 2y equals 6. And then finally divide both sides of the equation by 2 to give y equals 3. So our solution is 1 comma 3. So this is where these two straight lines cross on the coordinate grid. Hence I've written it as a coordinate. So let's move on to example 2. So this time we've got 3x plus 2y equals 3 and x minus 3y equals 12. So again we've got to make the numbers before x the same. So you can do this by multiplying the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 2. This will give us 6 before both y values. So if you times the first equation by 3 you get 9x plus 6y equals 9. Times the second equation by 2 will give 2x minus 6y equals 24. So this time if you're going to eliminate the y's we'll need to add the two equations because 6y add minus 6y will give you 0y. So let's do this then. So 9x add 2x gives 11x. We know the y's eliminate. 9 add 24 is 33. So we've ended up with this simple equation which we just need to solve now. So if you do this by dividing both sides by 11 and that will give you x is equal to 3. So we found the value of x we just need to find the value of y now. So you can do this by subbing in x equals 3 either in the first equation or the second equation. Uh, let me pick the first one again. 
So we've got 3x plus 2y is equal to 3. So if we sub in x equals 3 on the next line, you get 3 times 3 plus 2y equals 3. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2y is equal to 3. So we've ended up with an equation here which we need to solve now. So let's get rid of this plus 9. So if we take 9 off both sides, you'll get 2y equals minus 6. And then just finally divide both sides by 2. And you get y equals minus 3. So our solution for this pair of simultaneous equations is 3 comma minus 3. Thanks for watching.